I wasn't trying to hit him, but you can, like you said, I was, I was, I was breaking, and um, yeah, um, like I, I think the main thing is, is it's I don't, I don't think I really want to get into what I was thinking or what I was trying to do or if he sold it or if he didn't a little bit, but I think I agree with Daryl in the sense if if I actually did charge. We both wouldn't be playing tomorrow. So yes, maturity, yes. <laughs> well, we just we have to bounce back, right? We, we've, we've done a good year, a good job all year of bouncing back when we've had dips in the season and, and whatnot. And, you know, in the last series, we lost um, game two and three to Dallas as well. And we have to find our game again in game four. And that's something that we have to do again. And I think, you know, maybe our focus has been a little bit too much on the Oilers and, and we kind of, started playing their game a little bit more than we wanted to play our game and and you got to give them credit as well you know they've they've they they played really well these first three games so all our energy and focus has to go into finding our game and and when we do that we give ourselves a really good chance to win um you can say a little bit of both, but the main thing is, is, is just like Dallas, all our energy and focus needs to go into winning one game. And sometimes, you know, it's just human nature as a, as an athlete or, or a fan or a coach or whatever, you get so caught up and focused on, on winning the series, but ultimately you just got to win the game, uh, night by night. So. That's what we have to do is, 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 is find our game so that we can win one game. Yeah, just, not just in the last series. I think I've seen it uh, a lot throughout the season. Like I said, we've bounced back well and all that type of stuff. So um, I think that's where this group has matured a lot compared to the groups uh, prior and yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be a exciting game tomorrow and we better be ready for it well I think we got to do a bit of a better job supporting each other you know Long plays don't work work a lot, so just supporting each other so we can make short plays and come up the ice together. Yeah, I mean, I just go from my own experiences and, and everything and, and um, the reason why we, we, we say that and talk about that and, and, and players that have been on good teams and have won championships, they, you know, they rely on what we've talked about a lot is, is, is their foundation and their identity and, and you know, playing their game and that's what gives them success. And, and um, like I said, it's, it's, worked, it's worked for us all year long when we get to our game and play our game. Um, you know, I, especially against a guy like Connor and the Oilers, if you want to outskill him and outscore him, <laughs> good luck. But that's what I'm saying, you know, give up four plus goals in the first three games, that's not a very good 
trait, especially we were, what, the second best defensive team in the league this year. So we just got to, like I said, we got to just focus on what we need to do as a group and what our foundation is and what our identity is in order to get it to our game. Uh, yeah, def I, I think that that's a that's a part of our success, right? Is is being a big, hard, physical checking team. So when we get away with from that, it 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 doesn't it doesn't work for us. So I think we got to be harder, and being harder being means being more physical. And you know what I always say, you know, the hit count on the sheet after the game is great, but usually when you're hitting, that means you don't have the puck, and puck possession is is a big, big thing in this series. Yeah, I, I agree with you. There's been a lot more uh, penalties called, and even even four on fours. You know, there's I feel like there's been a lot of four on four hockey um, throughout all the playoffs, and which is usually they don't call those and just keep it five on five. So, you know, we we've talked about playing hard, whistle to whistle, and you know you want to play close to that line but not cross the line and. You know, that's something that we got to get better at starting tomorrow night. You got to find a way to do both. It's, he's a great player at the top of his game right now. So you got to, you got to find a way to sh shut down individuals and you got to find a way to beat a team, so it's, it's, it's both. Uh, well, everyone kind of does their own thing, you know, especially today was an optional skate and, and whatnot, but, you know, I think this is a good time to kind of like just decompress and, and realize that, you know, it's great to be in the second round of the playoffs, playing the Battle of Alberta, you know, take a few deep breaths and, you know, just soak it all in and, and enjoy it. So um, I, th I, I think I give a lot of credit to Kirk Muller. He's come in with such a great, good, positive attitude, and he's been kind of that guy from a coaching standpoint who's, who's done that for us all year. And, and uh, that's why he was a captain and a great player. And, you know, he's still doing it as a coach. Milan, you were here over here. You were here when Leon and Connor play on different lines. But when they're on the same line, you you also saw that with the orders. How much di more difficult is that when they're, they're you know the best player in the world and then another guy who's in the top ten are on the same line? Yeah, it's and and not only are they two of the top five, top three, probably top two players in the league, you know, and and you've seen teams try to put their two best players together and they don't have chemistry but I know from playing with them and now playing against them is they have great chemistry when they are on the ice together they know where each other is at all times um, you know they they're really good at they're good at one-on-one -on -one. they're good you know like playing give and go and all that type of stuff so like I like what I said before that's where puck possession comes in to play and what's huge in this series and you know if we have the puck then they can't make the plays so it's about like I said and it's and it's all five guys on the, on the ice that have to check those guys and that's something that we have to do uh, better moving forward.